feverish pace of society has hardly subsided since the time of Antony. Everyone seeks relief, a time to release, recharge, and prepare for the next challenge in life. Monasteries offer a solution for the stressed out American. There are more than 200 monasteries in the United States, and surprisingly, these are places you can visit for a day, a week, or even a lifetime. Jim Murphy leads us on a journey to seven distinct monasteries. The majestic beauty of St. Meinrad Archabbey, a Romanian Orthodox monastery and its icon school, Benedictines in the desert of southern Arizona, a one-of-a-kind Lutheran monastery, followers of St. Francis of Assisi, an Ozark Mountains Trappist monastery, the community of world-renowned musical artist John Michael Talbot. And we'll conclude our journey with a modern-day St. Anthony, a hermit in northern Ontario, Canada. And then we take the cows. <laughs> Jim Murphy juggles an active life of family, coordinating special events, and authoring. Active in Christian renewal, Jim has visited personally with Pope John Paul II and Mother Teresa of Calcutta. To pray with and for the people of America, he recently walked 4,000 miles across the United States. And so, we seek answers to these questions. Do monks and other religious have a patent on peace? Can you and I find this same solitude?